On that fateful day, uh, what actually happened, I was just, uh, I went to work as normal. Um, I was not in any form of pain in the morning. And I was just doing my work and I had my fellow colleagues with me. I started feeling some chest pains. They it started gradually, yeah? so I started feeling some gradual chest pain. And at around 9 a.m., the chest pains were so severe. So I felt like my, my heart was like so heavy. So when they took me to hospital, because back then I was also obese, so I, I was quite big. And by the way, that's where the name Kabuda came from. Eh? So people will ask, why Kabuda, why Kabuda? And I'm still so lean right now. But I was a big guy. Eh? I was quite, quite big back then. I managed to survive. And I also thank God most importantly, because during that whole process, when you are wondering, are you going to survive? Are you going to die? You ask yourself those hard questions, because you are like, if I'm going to die right now, then did I just come to this earth to eat and die? What really am I, was I supposed to do? And when I was in that theater room is when I realized that deep inside me, God had given me a passion for cooking. During that time, I discovered I can use this passion of mine to bring change to the world and to have impact to the world. As Chef Kabuda, um, I quit my job to start Kabuda's Kitchen. It was not an easy move, but it took a lot of boldness, a lot of courage, and uh, you too can start whatever you need to start. You just need to be courageous enough, you need to be bold, and you need to take the first step. The first step is usually the hard one, but once you've taken the first step in whatever it is you are pursuing, especially your purpose in life, you will be able to accomplish a lot so long as you put God first in everything that you do.